I finished assembling the, the gun rack here and I actually tested it out. I put my shotgun on here. Everything seems to be working fine. Um, and I ran over it one more time after I assembled it with my orbital sander here. First time with 120 grit and then I did it again with 220. Uh, just to kind of get rid of the any glue that squeeze out between joints and to uh, even out any bumps in between joints and whatnot. Uh, so I've done that uh, and these tools are great. They make fast work of sand the sanding process but they can't do everything. Uh, you can't get into tight corners like right here. So I've got these sanding blocks uh, by Blue Hawk and uh, they take a quarter sheet of sandpaper and I got two of them here, one with uh, 220 and one with 400. And I'm gonna just kinda hit up the tight areas like up in here that I can't get to with the uh, orbital sanders. Okay, now that, every, now that we've got everything sanded down with uh, 120 and 220, we're just about ready to stain this bad boy. Now before we stain, we're going to wipe it down. Uh, I've got naphtha right here. Uh, this is good stuff. You can probably also get away with uh, denaked alcohol or something along those lines if you don't have this. But we're going to just rub it down with this to uh, get rid of all the fine sawdust and whatnot that we have left over from our our uh, sanding. It's always a good idea to use gloves when you use this type of product. I don't feel like a sissy. Now I got it all wiped down with the naphtha and it's all dried, so which it doesn't take long to dry, it's pretty quick to dry. So now I'm going to go ahead and get this sucker, uh, I guess I'm staying on this sucker.